Okay, so we've learned about atoms, we've learned about ions, we've learned about the periodic table. Now let's put it all together and do some ionic bonding. That's bonding using ions. Ionic bonding. You'll remember an ion was an atom we had here, the oxygen atom. It wasn't happy because it's only got six electrons in its valence shell. It doesn't have eight. If it had eight, it would be like a noble gas. It would be happy. So it goes and it steals two electrons. Now it's happy. But now it's got more electrons than it used to. So it's a two minus ion because it's got two more negative electrons. And then when we looked at our periodic table, we discovered that all of these make plus one ions. All of these make plus two ions. These all make plus three ions. And then we stop and we start over here. The noble gases don't make ions. Minus one, minus two, minus three. And these transition metals, whoopsie. They have multiple charges. You don't know what they're going to be. But they tell you, for example, iron might be Fe2+. They'd tell you by saying it's iron 2. See, that's a Roman 2. Okay. So the whole point of ionic bonding is we've got positive electrons, all of these metals. Let's put our zigzag in here. don't know why it's not on this periodic table. There we go. We've got our metals on this side and our non-metals on that side. Ionic bond, you've got a positive, that's one of these metals, and a negative. And they stick together like magnets. A very strong bond. Let's try one and see how it goes. Okay. So this looks a bit like what's on your paper. Okay, we've got a couple of ions down here. We've got this copper 2 plus ion. Let's put that in the box. And this Cl minus. That's a 1 minus ion. We don't write 1s in chemistry. Just like in math, you, don't, you could write 2x equals 6. And then you write x equals 3. You don't write 1x equals 3. You just don't do that. Do x equals 3. Same in chemistry. We got two plus, just a minus by itself, that's a one minus. Now the key to all of this is that pluses and minuses attract until it's all neutral. Until there's no more pluses and minuses. Now here we've got two pluses. We've got Cu. Two plus. We got two pluses. We got one minus. It's not neutral. There's more pluses. So another minus is attracted. Now we got two pluses and we've got one, two minuses. So our ratio is one copper to one, two chlorides. All right. One copper to two chlorides. First of all we make it neutral and then we count how many copper ions there are. There's one, there's a chloride, and there's another chloride. Okay, the formula is a bit like a ratio, it's a recipe. So we've got Cu and we put one there, but we don't write ones. Cl2. So the formula tells you how to make it. You have one copper and two chlorides. Let's do another one. 
Okay, we got lithium, one plus, and nitride, three minus. We got one plus and three minuses. So it's not neutral. It's still got more negatives. So more pluses are going to be attracted. So now we've got two pluses, three minuses. And there's still more minuses. Have another one. Three pluses, three minuses. Now it's neutral. So we're going to, let's count them all up. We've got one, two, three lithiums, and just one nitride. So our formula is lithium three. One, but we don't write ones. I want you to pause the video now. I want you to pause it, stop it, and try to do this one yourself. So we need a sign, don't we? Pause. Now. Okay, I hope you all stopped listening to me and tried to figure this one out for yourself. It's quite hard. We put a B3 plus on, and then we put our S2 minus, and then we count. We got three pluses, two minuses. It's not neutral, is it? There's more pluses than minuses, so another minus one's going to stick. Now we count again. We've got three pluses and four minuses. So now it's more negative, so we put one of these on. Now we've got six pluses, three, and three is six, and four minuses. Two and two is four. So there's more pluses, so another one of these is going to be attracted. Now when we count, we got three, let's draw our circles, we got three pluses, on three pluses we got six pluses, and on this side we got six minuses. So when we do our ratio, you can see we've got two borons, we got two to three. So our formula is going to be B2S3. So now, sodium oxide, pause it, work on it yourself, and then come back and watch me. I hope you did all right with your sodium oxide. Let's quickly pull some on. We got Na plus one and O minus two. We got one plus two minuses. So we got more minuses. So we need more plus. Now we got one, two pluses and two minuses. So when we write our ratio, we've got two and one. So our formula is Na two. Oh. Now on this one, life gets a bit more different. I won't say complicated, different. NO3, 1 minus. Okay, what it is, is it's a nitrogen with three oxides stuck to it. And then the whole thing is a minus, a minus 1 ion. So we treat it as a package. We got Ca, NO3, two pluses, one minus, two pluses, two minuses. We got one calcium. We got one, two nitrates. So our formula this time is Ca, NO3. We got to remember that three. But we want to put a 2 there as well, don't we, to say we've got two NO3s. So what we do is we put parentheses around the NO3. So 
have two NO3s. So now, this is another pause now moment. Have a go at this one. Welcome back. We've got beryllium 2 plus, phosphate 3 minus. Is more minuses. So we need more pluses. Now we've got four pluses and three minuses. So it's more pluses. So we need more minus. Now we got six minuses and four pluses, so there we go. Let's see, we two, four, six, three, three, and six. So we got one, two, three beryllium's and two phosphates. So we're on beryllium. Two PO four. Oh wait up, oh, that was a three, sorry. Three PO four two. And then we put our parentheses around it. Now you've got some more problems on your worksheet. Uh, where I don't actually go through and tell you the ions. You'll have noticed in this one that we had sodium, just like you find on the periodic table, oxide, oxide. I want you to compare that on your periodic table to oxygen. The difference is, when it became an ion, we scrubbed out the ending and made it ide. Let's look at another one. Nitride. That equal is nitrogen as an element. We just take off the ending and add ide or phosphide. Used to be as an element was phosphorus. Phos or us. Take off the ending and add ide. Have a look at this next problems. Before you continue, do all four and then check your answers in the computer.